Hasan. Bagus, bagus, bagus. Bagus. Bagus, ha? Macam mana anak aku? Is it okay with that? My name is Robert. Robert. Bagus. I don't think I've ever had this where you pull up and you get a massage while you check the waves. Yeah, casual, casual massage, surf check. Kind of cool. No, it is good massage. Waves aren't too good though. Massage is better. But can you guys go to every place we check the waves? <laughs> Imagine if your life was a movie, you were directing it. What would you do? After all this time, three decades of professional surfing. Erase that footage from yesterday. <laughs> walking through all these different walks of life. I almost want people to experience this story that I've had. Watch this left right here. Tomorrow, it literally could have the waves of the year. Going to Bali is always exciting for me. The place is so beautiful. The surf's great. There's a lot of variety of waves to ride. It's a great place for a contest, but it's also an incredible place just for a free surf or a film trip or a vacation. There's great food. There's good people to be around. I like to hang out with Rizal and Marlon, Rizal's kids. And I always had a fun crew. Go get food at the local spots and kind of laugh at the mayhem there is. What's that, $1.60 or something, US? $1.70. $1.60 for oh, a meal. Yeah. Well, that's $1.60 we ever spent, right? So good. Uh -huh. I got a juice bar. I like eating like this. After Gold Coast and Bells, I just felt like I was in a rut. I never really found my lane. so many negative thoughts. Maybe it's reading too much stuff, maybe it's hearing too many other people have an opinion on something and caring about it. But the fact that I haven't been surfing my best and I haven't been really putting in those performances that people have expected of me over the years. Right, let's surf. Let's surf. I'm gonna use that to take the pressure off of me. Because if I surf good, everything now is a bonus. Like, oh God, Kelly's surfing good again. As if I forgot how to surf after 40 something years. It's kind of funny. I'm really trying to piece the whole thing together from my experience, my skill, and also psychologically just like figure out where I can relax. I compete and surf best when I'm totally relaxed and I'm having fun. Oh yeah! Oh, woo, got it! Gnarly, I told you. I told you you're gonna I guess we're gonna go surf then, yeah? yeah? Let's go surf now. Got it. I told you, you don't go surf until you make to the to the hole. I just need to get some surfing under my belt and just getting back to really feeling my surfing and just not worrying about anything else. I just want to get my feet wet and not surf with people. Oh, leash would help. Oh, yeah. what? What? Oh! Each generation thinks differently. They have their own little bubble, you know, and they, they approach things differently and you can see them each kind of pushing each other in, in different ways that maybe we didn't or the next generation didn't. So it's fun to be around that and, and see the way that they kind of interact with each other. That's what I like a lot about being there is surfing with all the different guys.
start to see it feathering on the lip and you couldn't tell if it was gonna break on your head or you're in the right spot. I was trying to figure it out. <laughs> it was hard though. And then you stand up, as soon as you look in, you would get the gnarly glare off the water. And then you try to look down the line and you gotta take about two or three seconds before your eyes start to clear again. 99, $950,000. What, what is it? What kind? Cowboy. Oh, cowboy. It's pretty good for $90. Not good when your fingers are like damp wet. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, whiter, yeah. As soon as it gets up in the atmosphere. Yeah. What but Billy what Billy said he Yeah, Billy said he was like pretty much he got the collars. You all good? Where are you where are you are you at home? I found out this morning that they're going to turn the machines off on Sunny tonight, so he won't be with us tomorrow. It's been actually 12 days now since it all happened. I've just been thinking about all the years, all the memories, all the things we did, and places we went, and things he said. I was just in the water just thinking about him and just be alone out there. just not think when I was on a wave. I haven't been feeling what I'm doing when I surf. And it felt like that session like broke something loose for me and made me feel again. And I was just like trying to channel we were surfing what he'd be saying to me or how he'd be pushing me. him tell me I need to push on my back foot and throw some spray instead of being able to worse and trying airs. The not knowing was the hardest part, you know, wondering each day, is he going to pass away today? Is he going to make it through tonight? What's going to happen when they turn the machine off? When you're stuck in your emotions and you can't evolve from that, that's a hard thing. You know, if somebody dies, you can deal with it somehow. 
if they're right on the verge, weeks or days or whatever, even for hours, you're, you're sitting there just holding out hope. I feel like I was having one last surf with him. It's so sad, man. It's so sad. We all just feel so hopeless. We could have done something, but I don't think, you know, obviously we couldn't. It's, a, it's like hard to, it's hard to accept that we, that nobody could do anything to change it. It's really, really hard thing to accept. But we have to, you know. I feel lucky that Sonny's still here with us. But I also feel like if he did pass away, I, I don't know if I'd cry a lot now because I felt like Sonny died, you know? That felt like I was saying bye to a friend right then. We all want to see him better, but you know, the truth is Sonny's, he's in a tough position and his recovery is going to be many years if he recovers back to who he was prior. This one right here, watch this release, boom. That's a money turn at Gramos, right there. It's real different, you know? That's not like a standard turn you do. It's like a little bit of release, but you keep that heavy speed down the line, super fast speed down the line. I think I'll ride it. I expect the waves to be a little bit smaller than today. And this board's so lively. Get streamlined for the day. I always shave before my heat. Kind of a ritual. I feel like it's part of my, it gives me like focus or something. It was hard when I was losing my hair. Like people always make fun of it and stuff. But now it's like, it seems funny to me. Like it seems funny that it bothered me. Actually, if I could grow hair, I don't know if I'd want to have it now. You have to go out and win those heats that people don't think you're gonna win. I'm 47 years old. They think I don't surf nearly as good as I used to. I know what people say. Doesn't matter to me. I know that I can still surf as good or better than I ever have when I put it all together. I'm in the quarterfinals now against the guy who's probably most on fire in the world. If I beat him, that's gonna really make people nervous. Honestly, it's gonna make other guys nervous. After my last heat, I said, I'm gonna go smash that guy. And I got all the Brazilians up in arms now. They're all posting the stuff about me, like basically saying this guy's full of shit, which I think is really funny. I think everyone's gotten way too soft in surfing. No one backs themselves. There's a little humor in that, obviously. Felipe has outscored me by a huge margin in every heat this year, in every round this year. And the chances of me beating him are pretty slim, and I know that, so I'm relaxed going in. I'm not worried about it. But I think my experience could pay off, you know? I think that I can go out and make the right choice in the heat and also push my surfing. Got my mornings out good, lots of liquids, a lot of dragon fruit this week, pineapple, papaya, watermelon. The fact that I've been mostly off tour the last couple of years and that didn't have a very good start, me doing well, making the quarters or on where it's gonna be sort of newsworthy. They're like, oh my God, Kelly can still surf. It's supposed to be ancient. <laughs> I think Felipe is just paddling out here. It might look kind of weird if I just paddle out right when Felipe paddles out. You might be like, what's going on here? No matter what I do, it's a mind game, apparently. If I shake someone's hand and wish them luck for the heat, it's a mind game. If I look at him wrong, it's a mind game. It's all mind games, apparently. The chance that he could take the yellow jersey this week and the idea that I can still surf, I think is newsworthy. When you hear so how much somebody wants to beat somebody, it makes you look forward to that heat because then the necks are on the line. You're either gonna step up and do it or you're gonna get beat and look silly.
It's been a long way for the Super Heat, and now it's officially on. Felipe Toledo taking on Kelly Slater in a 30-minute matchup, and the winner will move on to the semifinals. This is uh, what we came to see, Joe. This Karamas is just lit up for the Super Heat of this round. The crowd on the beach, every single wave, you can hear them cheering for these both these guys. Kelly versus Felipe. All the hype for good reason. This one officially starting now. Felipe up and out. That'll just give Kelly priority. Kelly's looking for the tube. He's disappeared and come flying out to a big roundhouse cutback. And Kelly with a great position to put himself out the back. What an interesting start to the matchup. This is the kind of wave Kelly's looking for. Straight into the barrel and then that big open face wrapping cutback. Kelly's still, in my eyes, the best in the world, Joe. Moving back into position. Let's see if he'll get started now. Felipe. Off the bottom, first turn. Off the roof. Down carve to set up the lift to hit. This kid is so dangerous no matter what kind of wave he's on. And then the ability to then get an air in a, in a part of the wave that really shouldn't be an air section. Felipe now in position. Bowling up. Arm drag. Now nice and deep. Stalling that tube right and comes out. Little top turn wrap, all foam, and now Reed. He commits to it. Still fitting in a major turn. He's playing Kelly's game at the moment, Joe. Next one setting up for Kelly. Bottom drops out, another chance at the tube. This one's gonna spit him out. Wide open section to lay that rail down. To recover quickly with the bottom dropping out. And Kelly surviving oh. some wild sections at Karamas. Oh my god. Coming down to this way, Felipe Toledo recovers on the stumble on the takeoff. One big ramp, and he can't get the takeoff off the big section. With 10 seconds to go, Kelly Slater is fired up. One of the most amped up celebrations we've seen. I don't think there's any coincidence that I did so well in Bali. And we talk about being in the moment a lot. When this first happened with Sunny, I was deeply affected at all hours of the day, just crying myself to sleep at night. It was actually easier for me to be in the moment because I was savoring that he was still here with us. Did you hear what he said to me when he came when, after the heat? You say you got lucky? He comes up and goes, you know you got lucky. You know you got lucky. Oh, that's pretty I'm cool. Like, okay. I'm like, that's all right. I'll remember that next time I like you. <laughs> hey, I got to beat him once in my fucking career. That's heavy. That guy beats me so much. I love Pernod. He's a great guy. I'm going to smash him. What about the waves? <laughs> what about the waves? Karamas that's came up to play. That's my line, right? Yeah. Um, now I feel like I'm back kind of just on a roll. A few friends wrote me this week and said, God, man, it's so inspiring. I'm, I'm only 40, you're 47, and like, I just feel like I'm slacking. It sends a cool message to people, you know? Kelly Slater, he's not going to give up just yet. To get the jump on Kanoa Igarashi, the thing working against him at the moment is priority. I had a couple of people begging me to stay till I'm 50. Like, stay on tour till you're over 50. Show that you can do it. There's just that thing where you, you get in the lead and you, you're like, it's in my hands. I can smell it. I can feel it, you know? And you just want to hold on to it. And drop a couple of decent scores. That's probably the thing that derails people more than anything in competition. Instead of doing the thing that got you to that lead, it's, it's hard to keep that same mindset because then now you're leading. You're not the guy behind trying to chase someone. How do you keep yourself chasing something when you're leading? Easy. Well, it's pretty sweet. On to the next. On to Margaret's. 
you feel really exposed in WA. The waves are pretty far off the beach. They're intense. It's so sharky here, we're not allowed to even talk about other WSL gets mad at us. Last night I looked at the heat sheet and I went, oh, I got John and I got Jadson. I feel like when I get in overdrive, I can beat anybody. Thinking of these mates, Sonny. Oh. Now he's like all excited to surf and beat people again. I was all just eating shit or getting in best girls for the year. 